Um, I like to think uh, very deep uh, when I have nothing better to think about. And I was thinking too hard, and I pretty much um, intellectually figured out how it all works. And, and I wish I wouldn't. Um, but th this is a video series now uh, about just how simple all of this is put together. And um, uh, uh, you learn it in kindergarten, probably, just how simple all this is. But you think uh, beyond simplicity. And I figured it all out. And um, my uh, biggest fear is what I most believe, um, that when I die, I will retain nothing that is of me. Um, but this is a, a universal um, problem of whatever your fears are. How far back you bend your finger, the pain that feels sitting on the toilet all day. Um, uh, this would be uh, if your worst fears came to realization, you would be in hell drinking Kool Aid with Andrew. Today we're drinking coffee, but I'll get Kool Aid. Um, and uh, you could always be wrong. Uh, and the the thing is, I I used to think you could never be wrong, but you can always be wrong, and uh, you are always wrong. As, as long as you're, you're thinking like this. Uh, because uh, the world is in duality. You see. Whole becomes uh, dark and light. And uh, through my video series, I'm going to go through the whole Bible. From Genesis to Revelation. Because... I basically know nothing now because it's all going to reinterpret itself for me of the dull natures that um, makes this life all work. Even it's kind of scary, and we're all in the the same position here because uh, it's a world of opposites, and the opposite of is 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 not. So whatever your worst fears are, um, I think to deplete ego, um, you have to become what is. Because if something is, and you are its opposite, you are is not. Created uh, Elohim in his image, the dual natures of man and women. This is uh, very scary. Because I've gotten to know all the people as the people they are. Um, but they are not. They are part of the shadow world. And to truly meet union, you're going to have to give it all back. Just as when you sleep at night, you have no concept of space and time, but it gives rest to your body and you wake up and you think you are that person um, but the truth is that person is dark it, it's going to be the, the force inside you that um, you're not going to want everything about you um, what transgresses law by being dual, actually um, keeps the wheel of birth in spin. See, I never before understood that um, the Tower of Babylon, how um, the people were coming together and they were figuring out all these truths, satanic dark truths, which are the opposite of light. And 
Uh, I would watch the, the stars going around in the sky. And uh, this was a, a starting in Babylon teaching. And you notice every time that Pluto entered a sign, there would be this um, big once in a generation uh, currents. Right, right as it was at zero Scorpio or zero Sagittarius, something like that. And I could tell by people um, what, what signs were reacting in them and um, what uh, stars. Uh, but these are part of the world that I see. You see with your ears, uh, see with your eyes, hear with your ears, but you do not see and you do not hear. And basically, what our ultimate goal is to do is to become the opposite of ourself. Um, the greatest lesson we're supposed to learn here is um, to find not dull and be whole. See, on the dark side, the satanic powers of everything that you see in the, the, the world uh, have an opposite of uh, light, um, which in together they're made whole. But to be made whole, you have to give it all back. You, in other words, it seems the reason that we're born here uh, is to realize that we are not good, that we are just shadows of what's better. And each transgression against a person is really a transgression against yourself. Because just as there is a personal deity, there is also uh, a personal devil. And it's really weird how I can look around and I see all this stuff in motion and I see all these people. But ultimately, it is not. Because what is, is nothing. It's, it's very abstract, but yet it's uh, simpler than all the stuff that we were taught. The goal, growing up, seemingly, is to return to source. Get rid of everything about you that is you and deplete into the other side. But you won't retain anything that is you, anything that you characterized your life around, uh, anything taught to you by your planets, and anything of this world. That when you say, I truly give it all over to Christ, you really are giving back every single thing you have to the point where you will be whole and not who you see yourself as. And of course, that, that's a scary concept. Um, people of all religions go around in their semantics and they, they tout who the good guys are and the bad guys are. Um, but when you see why, and um, I guess uh, to perpetuate the world, you have to be in wonder. You, you cannot go after what is not. Uh, seemingly, it's a transgression just to be. And uh, everyone, everyone who is uh, made in the image of God, made in the image of Elohim, is really going to have to give up all that there are. The opposite of this is nothing for everything.
the opposite of duality. So you, in other words, won't know anymore. You've put so much trust into God that you would deplete yourself. And, and that, that's the true message of duality, dual becoming dual, becoming dual, becoming dual. Um, and the, the ultimate cycle of cause and effect. What's scary is here, we're all working together now. Um, in the way I see it, uh, to, to retain our ego. When you say, I want the devil out of me, that's everything. The person who plants flowers, the person who sings songs, and the, the will to transfer over with, with that kind of mentality has a lot more to give up. To go to heaven, you're not on earth. You move to the other side, but you won't retain anything from your uh, sensual existence. Uh, a world created by consciousness and a world that is not conscious. The world that is not conscious is, and uh, this shadow world isn't. So, uh, if, if whatever your worst fears are, whether they be mundane all the way uh, up to the, the greatest realization that I thought my consciousness would be, would survive death, um, but that's just a system. Consciousness is the system of itself, of the, the dark world, of what is false. So you have to give up every sense you know and just become one complete thought. So whatever your worst fears are, um, I, I guess a good metaphor with that for that would be you would find yourself after you die in hell drinking Kool-Aid with Andrew. And uh, I'm gonna have a lot of a lot of fun with this with my my transient self, 